People who live near the Bullock County Pipeline project came here to the county courthouse to voice their concerns to the judge executive. But whether or not he'll be able to do anything is still unclear. The pipeline's going to split my farm exactly in half across all four pastures. Richard Parker and about a dozen other residents attended a meeting Wednesday to voice opposition to a 12 mile long natural gas pipeline that LG&E plans to build from the eastern part of the county to I-65. Not only has our quality of life been impacted negatively, uh, it's also going to reduce the uh, sale or the value of our property, our farmland. The Public Service Commission approved the project in 2017. LGE spokesperson Natasha Collins says the company has already secured rights to build on about nine miles of land. And this is a project that ultimately is designed to better serve customers in the area. The values on those properties will turn to zero. Parker is one of a handful of landowners refusing to allow lg &E to build on their land. So is the Bernheim Arboretum and Research Forest, which bought land in the path of the pipeline last year. We're pretty firm with our stance that we're not able to grant an easement. Um, and it's just not compatible with our long-term conservation goals for the Cedar Grove Wildlife Corridor. I don't know about the legalities of this. It's starting it over. Bullitt County Judge Executive Jerry Summers, who took office earlier this year, believes the project is now too far along to stop. He applied that permit, the Public Service Commission rubber stamped it. Parker says residents were misled from the beginning. We know that the process was, was not done correctly. Denny Camper, WLKY News.